friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing another massive gift and decor haul, so stay tuned. Okay, so let's get straight into the haul, guys. This is a lot of stuff, so I don't want to waste any more time. So the first store I went to was Dollar Tree. This was the very first item that caught my eye. I'm looking for something to go in my bathroom to go over the towel holder. Um, and I kind of liked the length of this. This is probably about 24 inches long here. And it's going to look really, really good. And what a cute sign, too. It's got these little green Christmas tree, the red letters. My bathroom is the only place I get to do the traditional colors. So this is going to go perfect. Next, I found this gorgeous bottle brush tree. They have lots of options to choose from, lots of colors and different styles. I loved this glittery blue with the gorgeous little silver beading in there. It's going to tie in perfectly with the rest of my decor and it's going to look really cute in my kitchen. Then I checked out all of their ornaments. They have great prices, probably the best prices you're going to come for these regular, I would call these like regular size Christmas balls. Um, and they have them in all different colors. For me, it's hard to find some of this dark blue color. And I'm not sure it's really showing up on camera, but this is a gorgeous metallic navy color um, mixed in with the silver. It's going to look really, really good on a wreath that I'm trying to revamp, which we'll do a DIY video for that. So if you're looking to kind of upgrade some of your current garlands or maybe even just fill in your tree, Dollar Tree is a place to go. Seven pieces for $1.25. Dollar Tree also has amazing prices on bows. Look at this gorgeous bow. It's got like a burlap kind of situation with a beautiful gold glitter on top. So it's very shiny, but it also goes with like a rustic glam kind of theme for your Christmas. If this is what you do, this is the best place to find bows. Now, I will say the only thing that you're going to want to watch for at Dollar Tree with the bows is make sure that the little loops are nice and full. Um, sometimes they get flattened out in packaging um, and they're kind of, they, they're really hard to get back into a beautiful full piece because this is actually plastic, which also makes them great for outdoors. Dollar Tree has tons of amazing priced gift bags, gift wrap, and bow. These were some of my favorites. Look how cute that is. I love the trees with the glittery silver in there. And then on this side, it comes with another bag that has only glitter on the, is it Seasons Greetings in the green. And doesn't it look absolutely beautiful? So shiny. That's a two for one bag. Um, and this is a three for one bag. They're just slightly smaller. They come in this gorgeous snowflake pattern. This pattern on the back that says fa la la. And then the becoming classic little red truck pattern. I also bought some of Dollar Tree's graphic bags. This gorgeous little polar bear has this beautiful blue background that's going to look great under my Christmas tree. A almost matching snowman with the iridescent glitter. Beautiful. And this very cute hug. He's so cute and I love the blue background. On the back, so the front of it is glittered as you can see on the edge, but on the back it just has um, the little like illustration of the glitter, which I think is a really nice touch. The price on the Dollar Tree bows cannot be beat. This is a very large bag filled with these multicolored bows and they're basically in your Christmas colors. So there's um, gold, green, red, blue, and white. So these are like the colors that I think of for Christmas. Um, and it's a very large bag. This similar bag at Walmart is going to be at least quadruple the price. So this is $1.25 for this large bag of bows. Um, I also love to throw these in in Christmas vignettes as decor and they really add a pop of color and beautiful, um, kind of just fun to something. The next aisle we checked out was the candy aisle, 
And I absolutely love hitting the candy aisle at Dollar Tree. It is by far the most inexpensive way to fill out a gift is to throw in a piece of candy. And it's so cute because right now they have all of the holiday themed things. One of my favorite things that I found this year, and I had seen them last year but didn't pick up any, but I thought these would be great for stocking stuffers, are these little hot cocoa bombs. I have a couple of gifts that I bought and I'm going to be adding this to it. This bag of snowball cat and candy was just too cute to leave behind. I love the blue packaging. It says it's strawberry flavored, but it's blue. But either way, I know a kid is going to love this. Of course, Dollar Tree is well known for going and stocking up on movie theater candy, but this box of dots that is cherry, lime, and vanilla flavored gumdrops and so cute for the holidays, I absolutely had to grab some of these. And the last candy that I bought was this really cool giant warhead candy cane, and it's supposed to be sour, and I'm totally going to add this to a little boy's gift. And the last items that I bought at Dollar Tree this time were something that's kind of random, but they're things that I really love to throw into gifts for my family because I know they love them. Um, I bought word searches. So you can also get Sudoku. You can also get crosswords. My personal favorite is going to be the word hunts, um, the word searches. And they had them in three different backgrounds, three different patterns there. I love the green clover one. I actually think this would be a great kind of Christmassy green background um, if you were doing a care package or in a basket as like your tall thing in the back. This would be really, really fun, especially for like holiday self-care kind of basket. This would be super cool. Um, but yeah, they're pretty thick. I mean, there's a lot of word searches and these are great for bathroom reading or just for relaxing and they're super fun to throw into gifts. So moving on, the next store that we went to was Walmart. They have all different types of garlands to choose from at Walmart. I went ahead and chose the same garland that I have been buying for years and years. It's $3.78 this year, which is a price increase, but nine foot, but it is unlit. So you may want to think about that. You may choose different type of garland. This is very simple, basic garland that I love to zhuzh up and we'll be doing a DIY with to show you how you can get the most bang for your buck when redoing these garlands. So this year I also decided to change up my Christmas tree just a little bit. I'm doing more of like a woodland glam look, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. So I wanted to do some burlap on my tree. I've done this in the past and I absolutely love the way it looks, but Walmart has the best price that you're going to find on burlap. It comes in these large rolls. Now it isn't wired. This is the only time I use unwired is to put it in the tree this way. Um, it is so beautiful. It is a great quality burlap. And also it's got these kind of larger holes so the lights shine through really, really well. But you can see this is a huge roll and it's only, I think it's $4.97. So $5 for this huge roll of burlap. It's gonna go all over the tree and be able to be put into my garlands and in my wreath as well. Now to really achieve my woodland glam look, I had to have a beautiful ribbon to add with it. So I chose this. This is a little more money than I would normally spend, but it's a very large roll and it's very thick. This is a gorgeous piece of ribbon. It's this royal blue with this silver glittered snowflake and this beautiful foiled edge. It is wired. That's the key to making great bows, um, especially in your Christmas tree as a topper. But you can see um, it is 35 feet, if I'm not mistaken, of ribbon and it's $7.98. But I went ahead and splurged this year because I didn't feel like I was going to be able to find anything like this at the Dollar Tree. So Walmart's the way to go if you're going to buy good ribbon. And check out how fun it looks together. That's going to be beautiful. The last item that I got from Walmart is definitely my favorite and it was kind of a surprise. We weren't looking for it, but we found it. So make sure to check all of your aisles if you are interested in getting kitchen items especially. I know that they usually at my store clearance a lot of stuff out as the seasons change but those things never get put on the clearance aisle also check your clearance aisle there's usually one aisle dedicated to all the clearance and everything gets taken there but this item like i said was on the regular shelf in the kitchen area you're gonna be excited so I got myself an air fryer. I've never had one and I really wanted one. And you can see it was half off. So this was $55 and it's the Instant Pot brand. 
and it is a very good size air fryer. The next store that we went shopping at was Big Lots. So every year my husband and I have a tradition of building a gingerbread house and then we post it on Facebook and we have people vote for whose is their favorite. And the winner just gets bragging rights. So <laughs> we found some really fun ones to try this year. My husband got this Oreo gingerbread house kit. Um, on the back it shows you what it comes with and I always buy a couple of extra little candies to add into our kind of candy stash so we can really make these fun. But it already comes with the little house, the icing and the lights. So this is a great start. It's only $6.99. I also think this would make a great gift for a kid because I can just imagine them having so much fun Christmas morning putting this together. We also bought a Sour Patch Kids gingerbread house and it comes with the similar type of items but a little bit more candy. So for $6.99, again, you get the name brand. This is Sour Patch Kid, the last one was Oreo, Gingerbread House Kit. These are about half the price of the regular ones that are just whatever the holiday brand is at Walmart. In my bathroom, I get to do all the fun Christmas colors. My husband is colorblind, so I wind up doing a lot of blue because he can see that color and really enjoy the season. But in the bathroom, I decided I would really go for it and make it Christmassy this year. So I found this gorgeous, gorgeous, let's get jolly, all red with the beautiful white writing, hand towel to put in my bathroom. To match that, I also found this really cute peppermint swirl liquid hand soap and it's got that beautiful red color and don't they look stunning together? I think this would make a really, really good gift for someone. I know for sure I would like to get this gift, especially in this gorgeous little holiday theme. So for our family party this year, we've decided for everybody to bring a charcuterie board. So I'm really, really excited about that. So I wanted to find some really cool items. And I know Big Lots has really fun and unique items that you can add to any charcuterie board and really make it pop. So the first thing we spotted was the dried fruits. And they come in all different kinds of packaging. Here we found kiwis, ginger slices, And these are strawberry pineapples. And look at that red and that green from that kiwi are gonna be so pretty on that board and I can't wait. And I haven't decided if I'm doing a sweet or a savory board, so I went ahead and grabbed this really cute little barrel of mustard to add to the board. And isn't that adorable? And it's actually really good mustard. It's um, hot German mustard. So it's super cute, especially if I decide to do like a little smoky kind of thing. They also had all kinds of holiday flavored cookies, biscottis, nuts. So I wound up getting this peppermint cocoa almonds along with the snickerdoodle almonds. And I'm going to set up a couple of bowls with these in there. And these are going to add just the right festive. And what's a charcuterie board without crackers? These were so cute. They had lots of them. I love sourdough. So that's the one I got. They had all different kinds of flavors and brands. I also like this brand. So I thought this was the crackers for us. And lastly, for our charcuterie board, we found this in the kitchen section. It is four different, it says glass clamp jars, four different colors. Now, I wasn't super a fan of these bright colors, but I think I can probably take the ring off for the day and call it, you know, done. But even if I don't, these make such a cute way to hold honey, jams, even a little more <laughs> of our mustard, any kind of little sauce that I'll be adding to my tray will go in one of these. And finally, to round off our trip, we went to my favorite store, Burlington Coat Factory. The first item that I bought from Burlington was these really cute little sock slippers. Check them out. They have the rubber bottom so you're not slipping and sliding. They have the Sherpa inside so your feet stay nice and warm. And they are so cute and so soft. I love the collar combo of this navy with this hot pink, and look how cute and puffy that is. That's just adorable. I absolutely love these, and for $5.99, you can't beat the price. I also bought hair clips. I always buy hair clips. I love them. They don't tear up your hair, and this scrunchie brand is great. I buy these with the really, really big jaws, 
and they have the no slip grip. I have fine hair, but I have a lot of it. So it holds it together really, really nicely. So these are great. And for $3.99, uh, yeah, $3.99 for three of them, this is a great thing to add into stockings, girls gift. Everybody's going to love these. And I'm about to show you my age. I bought some Paris Hilton body spray. I'm a millennial. It just is what it is. I absolutely love this. I started wearing the Paris Hilton perfume way back in high school and I just can't get past it. So <laughs> if you're like me and you love some of those very nostalgic fragrances, Burlington is the place to go to get them. They have the JLo, they have the Britney Spears, they have the Mariah Carey, they have the Rihanna, they have all these great scents. Um, and they are only $6.99 for this really big bottle. Usually this lasts me about the year. And one of my very favorite finds of the year so far is this hot cocoa bomb. He's the perfect man. He's tall, he's dark, he's handsome, and he melts away. He's so cute! <laughs> Isn't he adorable? This makes a great gag gift or just something to add into anybody's stocking who wants a good laugh. And for the very last item for this haul, one of my favorites, if not my very favorite gift item that I have found this year. Is he not so cute? He's adorable. Okay, so he is a beautiful, gorgeous porcelain mug. He is a polar bear, but they had lots of different styles. You could get a gnome, you could get Santa. I think they had something else, like maybe a reindeer or a penguin. Oh my gosh, but he is so cute. Look at the gorgeous detail in the handle and the little bow tie. But this has to be my favorite part. Look at this topper, guys. It's a snow globe. I know. I know. I know. I had to have him. He was $9.99. He makes such a beautiful gift, especially if you just, I mean, you could leave it as is and just give it. $9.99, it makes a great gift. But what I would do is I would definitely add like a bag of really cool, maybe hot cocoa, um, coffee, tea, whatever the person that you're giving it to likes to drink, of course. But this is just so cute. I absolutely love it. I haven't really seen very much like it. Um, I I love the mugs with the topper because they keep your drink, you know, actually warm. I don't know that I would even would drink out of this. It's so cute. I would leave it out as like a little decoration next to my coffee pot. But I absolutely love this guy. Well guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you absolutely loved it. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so, so much when you guys like the videos in the algorithm, it just boosts it. And then if you subscribe to my channel, you get to see all of my content. And don't forget, this is episode three in our blue Christmas series, so there is a lot more to go. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye.